darlings welcome to a new vlog the weekend vlog this weekend um, Charlie and I are doing lots of fun things with friends and lots of gardening we have already done a great workout at the gym with our friends Ben and Robin and that was a great way to start the day had a nice brunch all together as well and now it's actually just after midday and we are going to spend the rest of today catching up on lots of gardening things it's days like this when I just kind of wish that I could duplicate myself because there are so many things to be done in the garden at this time of year. April is arguably the busiest month for gardening. There is so much tidying to be done. If you've, like me, gone a little bit wild with seed sowing in the greenhouses, lots of planting out to do. There are still so many seeds to sow, roses to trim, lawns to feed. There's a lot of work to be done in the garden at this time of year. So we are gonna spend the rest of today in the garden until we get peckish and we're gonna do a nice uh, steak and mac and cheese for dinner. So a few of the gardening jobs, as well as what I just mentioned, I'm going to be sewing, finally getting around to sewing my courgettes today, which is going to be exciting. Um, I'm gonna sew, direct sow a few seeds in the raised beds and a few flower seeds around the pond. We also went to the garden center at Dalesford this morning. It was so, busy it's just crazy there on the weekends now we bought a load of digitalis and alliums and campanula the alliums were going to add to our herbaceous border and the campanula and the digitalis were going to put around the pond we want to make the pond a bit of a biodiversity zone this year our whole garden is very insect friendly but um, the pond is has always just been kind of a green space and if we have anything left we'll just stick it by the pond but this year we're going to make that a real focus and I've also got a lot of sorting out to do in the greenhouse so that is the plan for today it's a really beautiful day blue skies quite warm um, so I'll probably be stripping down to a t-shirt before too long which feels amazing it'll be the first gardening in a t-shirt day this year I believe and then tomorrow we are going uh, to go for a walk with George and Petra and Rory, our favourite little Dalesford Adelstrop loop, which takes you through the most beautiful countryside through Adelstrop, and then you also go via the Fox at Oddington, so we're going to have a Sunday roast there, which to me is my dream day. So without further ado, we've got so much to do in the garden. I think let's go, let's start by watering and very lightly organic fertilizing some of the potted plants because the tulips are looking amazing um but a few are showing signs that they do need a little feed so i think that's a nice easy job to get us started just to let you know i won't be helping but i will be overseeing the situation i really really like sunshine and i really like to cross my front paws and look like a little old man Ooh, these paws, oh snooty. Gosh, this site just gives me so many things on my to-do list. Something quite fun and easy that I just want to do. And actually the reason I bought these little violas was um, to eat them. And I know that sounds really weird, but I love to use edible flowers on cakes. And I was originally gonna use my hot cross buns, but that weekend was just crazy, so I didn't. But what I am gonna do is make some flower petal ice cubes and I know that sounds very bougie and OTT but um, yeah I thought I would just pick a few of the little viola flowers I've got a few plants throughout the greenhouse and I think that'll be a really nice way of preserving them and enjoying in a little beverage so I'm just snipping off a few of the flowers I'm taking smaller ones so they fit in my ice cube tray I'm just going to do one tray so I only need nine little flowers Perfect. 
Now I don't know if they're going to float or not. Obviously I don't want the flower to be completely hidden away in the ice cube. Um, I guess they are probably, yeah, they are gonna float. So I'm gonna do them this way round. Actually, the bigger ones worked a bit better because where the petals are so big it kind of wedges the flower down a little bit but anyway I'm gonna pop these in the freezer for a few hours and we'll see how they turn out As you have seen, a lot of seed sowing has been done inside the greenhouse and I'm now going to go and take a lot of my flower seeds like these beautiful poppies and cosmos outside and do some direct sowing. I'm going to take my watering can with me and I will water the ground before and after sowing, maybe actually just before because poppy seeds are so tiny they could just run away otherwise. Um, so I'm going to put some down in the cut flower garden, maybe some in these little beds here, and whatever's left I will put down by the pond. We up to darling. Poppy seed planting. I'm so the album poppy, which is lilac and dark purple. Nice. Down here. Just been I've been busy planting a load of digitalis, otherwise known as foxglove. Okay, we're just having a moment of cloudiness, so I thought I would just come in and um, unbox some beauty deliveries that arrived yesterday that I'm going to put away. And I've got my kind of monthly Look Fantastic order. The reason for this order, I needed to stock up on my Colour Fanatic spray. This to me is pretty much the same as the one in the blue bottle from also from Purology and then also the One United spray from Redken. I think I've said this before, to me they're all the same. I think they are literally the same. I just get whichever one is the best price. Um, it's the one with 21 benefits, dries your hair quicker, stops you from getting frizzy, um, stops breakage, so many different benefits and I rely on this. The one in my gym bag ran out, so I thought, okay, we must stock up. I always have to have one in backup in my cupboard as well. A few other bits that were in my order, and I'll leave all of these linked down below, and don't forget on Look Fantastic, you can always use my discount code, which will be on the screen here. It does vary, sometimes um, you get more of a discount than at other times on different products, but it's always worth adding it into your basket at checkout. 
This product was highly influenced by the Sheer Lux Beauty Awards. It's a brand called Curel, Japanese skincare, and this is their Deep Moisture Spray, an ultra-fine moisturising spray with ceramides for instant hydration. And I just thought... Ooh, it's quite... It's quite wet. <laughs> I thought for a post afternoon or morning in the garden this is going to be absolutely perfect especially as we get into warmer months when gardening just really kind of takes it out of your skin because you're so out in the elements as you can see so nice big bottle it was affordable as well so yeah that feels really nice and ceramide's obviously great for your skin this is such a practical beauty order I would say. I also got the gradual illuminating gradual tan lotion from Tan Lux. We're reaching the time of year my holiday tan from our honeymoon in January is long gone. Ooh, long gone. And I just want to have a little bit of a glow especially during Pilates and things like that. I just want my limbs to not be their natural colour. So this is a great one if you do like to apply tan gradually. I find that it's got more of a green base than an orange base so it makes me go a richer brown as opposed to orange, <laughs> which some of them do. As we would move into the summer months, that's really optimistic, the sunnier months let's say, SPF. Now I have got loads of SPFs that I apply before my makeup, my favourite being the Eve Long one because it acts as a gorgeous primer as well, but sometimes I forget <laughs> or sometimes I want to top up like when I'm gardening. So this is the Garnier Over Makeup Spray. I've tried so many over makeup sprays from La Roche-Posay, which I do really like to be fair, Kate Somerville. I liked it, but mine went off quite quickly um, and it was really expensive, especially compared to this. And um, yeah, this is the Over Makeup Protection Mist, SPF 50, UVA, UVB, and it's got hyaluronic acid in there. So also hydrating, but also protecting. <laughs> then again, influenced by the Sheer Lux Beauty Awards, I thought I would treat myself to a new NARS Creamy Concealer didn't realise it was going to be a dinky one. I haven't used this in so long, but it's such an old school favourite product. Hilariously tiny, I should have realised by the price. What have I done? Sometimes when I'm in the garden, I get these little red marks from various things that I've been touching. But silver lining, it can go in my handbag makeup bag as a little one for top ups, but I might treat myself next month, <laughs> in my next month's order, to the full size. I treated myself to another of the Anastasia Brow Freeze. Now this is a brow gel, which is very, very powerful, I must say. Um, and it's got a really handy spoolie attached to it. My brows are being pretty easy maintenance at the moment since I had them microbladed, which was about a month ago now. But this really sets them in place and it's just super convenient. I love using my, what's it called? I always forget the brand name of this. GH, can't remember, but this was also from Look Fantastic. I'm really enjoying using that on my brows when I get ready here, but for my gym bag, I thought this would be super duper handy. When I do do my brows here, I like to use a spoolie brush. I picked up this one from Look Fantastic. It's from a brand called Brushworks. And um, I do already have a brush like this in my collection, but I just saw this, actually, to be honest, it was almost so affordable, I was like, I, I'm making money by getting this brush. And if one of my brushes, I've just washed it and it's wet or something, I didn't need it, but I just thought, you know what, it's a brush that I use every day and where would I be without it? So that's my excuse anyway. Having just had my hair coloured, I thought I really need to make sure that the shampoo and hair care that I'm using, it's getting worse, isn't it? Um, is good for coloured hair. So this is the Colour Security Shampoo, 100% clean, residue free, from Colour Wow. I'm fairly new to Colour Wow, but I keep hearing so many people raving about it as a brand, so I thought I would trust them with my freshly coloured hair. Ooh, this is interesting. Somebody was raving about this. 
maybe even again the sheer lux um beauty awards dream filter pre-shampoo mineral remover filters out color destroying minerals found in tap water that dull darken and distort color because that really happens to me my hair needs a wash right now um and the color is great because i only had it colored last week but i do find that it gets dull like three or four weeks after getting it colored and i wonder if it's something to do with the water or maybe the shampoo and conditioner that I was using. So having heard someone, I'm sure it was Sheer Lux, raving about the dream filter, especially if you live in London or a city where the water can be a little bit hard and it's just depositing minerals in your hair which can really dull your hair colour, so I thought I'd give that a go. Last but not least, I needed a few more of my silk hair bubbles. I absolutely always have some in my hair. Um, this brown one is also slip via Look Fantastic and then I got the kind of pearly champagne coloured ones as well. Especially now that my hair is lighter, these are the perfect match for my hair so it's just quite a subtle, especially if you've got your hair in a bun, I like to sometimes not see the hair bubble but I'm never willing to sacrifice wearing silk hair bubbles. So there we go, that's what was in my Look Fantastic order that I thought I would just share with you. Some real what do you call it? Essentials. To me, they are essential. Um, so yes, if you need to stock up on any beauty products, I get my micellar water from Look Fantastic, shampoo, conditioner, everything. Um, then always just try adding in my discount code and hopefully it will save you a penny or two. Okay, the clouds are dispersing. I'm gonna head back out and I think it's time that we start sowing some seeds. Well, it's quite a few hours later. We've cooked steak and mac and cheese. We are now watching, we're re-watching Clarkson's Farm and Charlie and I have just done our evening garden walk. If you were watching the channel last year, you'll know that Charlie and I like to take an evening garden walk every evening after eating before bed, just to keep an eye on everything in the garden, like how many alliums are popping up and what's doing well in the kitchen garden but we just went for a half hour literally stroll around the garden and I'm coming back down here now oh breezy to grab I'll go this way to grab some lemon balm because I'm going to do a pot of lemon balm tea it's part of the mint family but it doesn't take over your beds quite like mint would do it's not quite as um dominant but it's really fantastic in a tea, just like mint, but it's very good for calming anxiety and also really good for um, promoting good sleep. So it's a really nice one for us to get in the evenings and just make a pot and enjoy it before you go to sleep to really help us get as good a night's sleep as possible. morning my darlings it's Sunday morning now it's a really lovely morning we've got blue skies it's a little bit chilly but that's absolutely perfect for our walk that we're heading out on later but we're not heading out for another couple of hours so we're just having a very chilled morning at home I might go and pick some more tulips bring them in um, and just do a little bit more work in the greenhouse but I was just doing a little tidy up of the dressing room and I saw this this arrived a few weeks ago and I completely forgot about it. It's a CGM in here, a continuous, continual glucose monitor. So it monitors your blood sugar levels. I've spoken about glucose levels and blood sugar levels before and um, the reasons why it's important to monitor them. Basically, you don't want big peaks and troughs. A peak might be caused if you eat something that's high in glucose. So for example, macaroni cheese or um, a sweet or to be honest everything that we eat is going to affect our glucose levels but some things more than others and you do want to avoid those big peaks and troughs when you get that dip you will often notice that you get really tired um, you and that's just like a short-term thing but in the long term it's a lot better for your health if you can make your blood sugar levels a lot more even. If you want to know more about that, I would definitely recommend listening to Diary of a, Seri Diary of a CEO. <clears throat> 
with Jessie, the glucose goddess, because she explains it really, really well in a much more scientific way than I would do. But how I understand it is that by minimizing the dramatic peaks and troughs in your glucose levels, short term, better for your energy levels um, and stress levels and mood, but also long term, really, really beneficial for your health, both your um, basically loads and loads of different health benefits, which I'm not qualified to talk about, but I will let you do your own research. So there are things that we can do to minimize those big peaks and troughs. A few things, for example, that Jessie recommended that I try and practice when it's convenient to do, such as having a savory breakfast. The first thing you eat in the day really does kind of set you off on that roller coaster, so you don't want to be having a big sugary breakfast that's going to spike your glucose straight away because then you're just going to be, when you're in those dips after the sugary breakfast, you'll be more tired and more inclined to reach for more sugary food. But also things like moving your body after, oh, <laughs> there's my tummy rumbling telling me it's time for breakfast. Moving your body after a high glucose meal, or to be honest, after most meals, can help your muscles to absorb the glucose instead of it just kind of sitting around, and that helps to minimize the dips as well. And I find that already I know that that's the case for me. If I eat pasta, <laughs> for example, which is very regular, then if I just sit on the sofa after that meal, then I get so lethargic that often I'll just fall into a deep sleep. The other day when I had the Honest Burger after going to the hairdresser in London, I, yes, I walked to the train station, but then when I sat on the train, deep sleep, <laughs> deep sleep straight away. And that was because my blood sugar levels were crashing. But anyway, um, quick thing to mention, because when I mentioned a CGM about a year ago or so, a few people said, oh, it's not really fair because they are made for people with diabetes. Yes, that is that is one of the reasons that they were created, but by someone that doesn't have diabetes using one, I'm not taking away a CGM from someone that does have diabetes. I'm not getting it from the NHS. It's a private company and um, CGMs are not, they're not, um, what's the word? Rare, they're not scarce. <laughs> You're not depriving anyone of having one by you using one. And I do think it's important where we can, if we do have an opportunity to learn how our body reacts to food and reacts to the things that we do, then to me, knowledge is power. I am so much more about preventative medicine or preventative measures where possible. I like to just understand how I can improve my health without having to rely on, you know, I don't want to get ill, basically. So if I can do things that help keep me strong and healthy, then I'm gonna do them. So anyway, four minutes of rambling about why I want to use a CGM. Let's do it. I've never, never used one before, but everything I need is in here. I'll leave this kit linked down below. Um, I've downloaded their app, and now I need to Bluetooth connect my phone, their app, to the CGM. So, okay, I think I need to strip down. <laughs> Anywhere on the back of either upper arm. Avoid scars, moles, stretch marks, or lumps. Okay, just put a t-shirt on so that I'm not sat here in my brassiere. Right, I think I need to do some connecting. Clean the spot. Yeah, but I'm not connected yet. Maybe it needs to be on my arm before I connect it. I guess I should probably do my left arm because I do less things with my left arm. So just cleaning the area with a little alcohol wipe, which I don't want to get any of it on my nail varnish because it will get rid of that. Prepare your biosensor. Peel the lid completely off your biosensor. Unscrew cap from applicator. Load your biosensor. Line up the dark marks. Lift your applicator out. Hmm, I don't think that worked. I don't think that's worked. Or maybe it has, I can see something in there. I don't know if it's picked it up or not. Oh my gosh, okay. Press down the adhesive, no. Place your applicator on your chosen spot and push down firmly. Oh, I probably haven't put that in the best place, have I? Oh, it's maybe a bit high. Never mind. Okay, well, it's in. 
push down on the adhesive to make sure it's secure. Yes, it is. Pair your biosensor. Okay. Ready to scan. Hold the top of your iPhone very close to the biosensor. Oh, my goodness me, that was easy. Okay, so <laughs> I've put it too far back, but never mind. I don't think it hugely matters. I can't feel that it's there. Um, so in this app, it wants me to log my breakfast, lunch, dinner and snacks, my workouts, my movement and any stressful events. Okay, so... Oh, this is interesting. There's a few challenges on here, like take your coffee with oat milk one day, whole milk the next day, snack on crisps one day, and then the next day have veggies for your snacks. Interesting. So I guess this is getting me to go through a few different activities, and then I'll be able to see what different things affect my body in different ways. Oh, I'm excited for that. Okay. Make sure you, lo you log your food as you eat it or right afterwards to get in the habit. Okay. What I would say is that... Um, Logging food, monitoring how food affects your body. If you have teetered on or have had an eating disorder, this is not for you. I would avoid this because in a way, in my head, it's kind of gamifying food and you could become a bit obsessed with it. So if eating disorders are something that you are dealing with or have dealt with before, I would not do this. I don't think, um, I don't think that would be good. Okay, so, how do I see my blood sugar levels? <laughs> oh, I think it's going to take an hour. Right, so it's got like a little timer here where it's saying um, how long it's going to take until my biosensor is readable. So I guess in an hour um, we'll be able to start seeing all the different information, which is really, really fun. So I'm not going to, I've already had my oat milk latte this morning. I can already tell this is going to make me want to switch to black coffee first thing. But, um... Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna go and do some gardening for an hour and then we'll see what, what I learn from my CGM. Is that not the most beautiful selection of tulips you have ever seen? I have to say I have chosen the best varieties. These little ones with little spiky bits on top. Then we've got the ones which are like a pearly white, pink and green. These ones look like peonies, my goodness. And then the delicate little purpley pink on the edges. These ones are really tall and regal. Gosh, I just love them. I'm going to do my little um, needle pricking tip again, hack, because that worked really, really well on the last lot. music from the church bells but I wanted to show this process to you hopefully you can hear me I've just grabbed a load of twigs from um, the kind of woodland area down by the pond and I'm going to make a support area for my peas and monge too which I'm going to plant out today along with my sweet peas I'm going to do it in this area here based on a kind of teepee design like I saw at Estelle Manor last week so let's do it
there we go, my little pea teepee is complete. We've got peas on the side closest to us and then mange two on the other. The last thing that you saw me doing aside from watering was adding some seeds directly into the ground so that we've got a little bit of a succession. Hopefully that'll prolong the time that I'm able to pick at my pods. But there we go, all watered in. Hopefully they'll enjoy this sunshine and it's not too breezy today, so absolutely perfect. Bunny has been sunbathing. I'm gonna go and make myself a quick avo on toast and then it's time to head out for our walk. just photographing one of these beautiful little yellow flowers that we're trying to figure out what they are on this walk if anyone knows let me know but this is the most gorgeous gorgeous walk across the road from Dalesford okay. so, are you using the iPhone plant search on the eye at the bottom yeah it should hopefully Oh yeah, Cals look, Cals that's, that's, that's exactly that's what it just said. It? Yeah. yeah, there you go. So clever. Premier lie. Mm. Pre yeah. They're going to put picture this out of business. Oh wow. we have just got home from such a lovely afternoon we were probably walking for about four hours and an amazing sunday roast at the fox we had three courses starter main with loads of sides two extra cauliflower cheeses extra roast potatoes carrots seasonal veg it was delicious but my goodness i was so full we definitely won't be having dinner we won't be eating anything else and i've made myself another i like i did yesterday lemon balm tea this is going to be my nightly thing now but i probably need to log it on the app so day one wearing the cgm very very interesting there was a point um when was it thing is what you do is you actually Ooh, something gave me a crash do you know what i think my blood sugar spikes when i'm sat down doing nothing because that spike it's not really a spike, but that there, I think, was when we were in the car going on our walk. And then that there is my blood sugar when we were in the car on the way home. And I hadn't just eaten anything, so it's literally being stagnant, not doing anything, that actually spikes my blood sugar, which is so interesting. Yeah, gosh. Or maybe it just takes me a little bit of time to, like, maybe it's got a bit of a lag on it, because it would make more sense that the dessert gave me a spike. I don't know. I will learn these things as we go. Um, but yeah, I'm finding it very, very interesting. I've logged all my meals. Um, I was trying to be fairly like sensible with eating the green things first, like ordering the salad, just tips that I picked up from listening to the glucose goddess. But anyway, cannot wait to take my makeup off. Did I tell you that we watched a really interesting television program last night. It's called Scoop, and it's all about the producer behind that infamous, <laughs> I won't even need to say his name, the Pizza Express Woking interview. I'm sure most, if not all of you will know what I'm talking about, but yeah, I think it's number one on Netflix at the moment. And it's all about how they secured that interview and, um, yeah, really, really interesting. So definitely recommend that. Rory was telling us about another really interesting documentary, kind of a dramatization documentary with Amanda Seyfried that follows, 
what's her name? Anna Holmes? Not Katie Holmes something Holmes and she invented that machine that she claimed could get all of your blood could from your blood tell you everything you need to know about whether you're gonna get cancer or um, basically all your health markers and it turned out to be a massive con and this documentary that, Ch uh, that Rory was telling us about follows that case so I think that's what we're gonna watch now but yeah as I said can't wait to take my makeup off So without a doubt, my favourite cleanser at the moment is this one here. It is the Eve Lom Foaming Cream Cleanser. If you're a fan of foaming cleansers but you find them a little bit stripping, this one is like the opposite. It just adds so much hydration to your skin, but I feel like a foam cleanser is so deep cleaning. Um, actually, I don't know that I prefer it to the Eve Lom Cream, you know, the one in the tub. I think this is actually still my all-time favourite cleanser. I think this one's empty, actually. Yes, <laughs> that is how much I love this one. That can go in the bin. To be honest, all Eve Long cleansers are just amazing. I might put this one in the shower because this one you're meant to apply it onto damp skin. So as you might have seen, I just used a flannel first on my face to open up the pores. But I just feel like my skin is so clean when I use this one. Please excuse the state of my hair, I'm just not bothered by it today because I'm going to be washing it after Pilates tomorrow. After cleansing in the evening I choose between these two toners, I don't know if you can see, depending on my skin. This one, if my skin needs a little bit of clearing, at the moment I've got an annoying like trio of spots here. This is an area specifically on my left, what side do I sleep on? I think I normally sleep on my right which is weird. Um, do I hold my phone up on my left? No, because I don't put my phone there. I don't know, it's just here is a regular place for me to get blemishes. If I want to get rid of blemishes, I'll use the Beauty Pie Dr. Glycolic Toner, Pore Purifying Glow Toner with glycolic and multi-fruit ASAs, niacinamide and soothing polysaccharides. I don't know what that last ingredient does, but it really clears my skin. And if my skin is normal, then I'll use the antioxidant tonic with blueberry and birch water preserving serum toner from Pixi. I've been really liking that one. So today I'm going to use Dr. Glycolic. I would say if my skin is exhibiting any kind of sensitivity, I won't use this because it's pretty powerful. I also don't use this too close to my mouth or on my nose if I've been blowing my nose <laughs> because um, at the moment I haven't. So we're all good. I will take it by my chin but not too close to my mouth because it really is powerful and those areas on my face are prone to sensitivity. Even on the areas that are not sensitive, I can feel this tingling which actually I really like. I like to know that my toner is doing something and really affordable so definitely add that to your next beauty pie order. And then this really is an optional extra, but it's an extra that I love. This is the Radiance Essence type from the Time Retreat collection from Eve Lom. And I just find that, you know, if when it was trending to do the like Korean eight step skincare routine, an essence is a really important part of that. Normally I'd actually wait a little bit longer be between my serum, sorry, my toner and putting this on, but today I just want to get downstairs. It basically just adds that instant mega hydration to your skin, which helps with all the other product ingredients sinking in, um, helps with fine lines, helps with overall radiance, and my skin just loves it. It feels so like calming. I just feel that my skin instantly looks better when I do that. And did you know your skin's meant to be a little bit damp when you apply your vitamin C? So in the mornings, I apply my vitamin C pretty much straight after my time retreat essence and it just helps with the absorption of the vitamin c so all of these steps combined help with a nice glow I just realized i hadn't spoken through my kind of spring evening skincare routine with you so i will be popping on the youth balm eye repair night serum and my skin and me but i won't do that until after my red light i'm definitely doing red and near infrared today because it's sunday and because of blemishes, so I'll pop those on 
before bed so I'll just leave them here in the sink so I'm gonna go downstairs finish my tea <laughs> finish watching Gardener's World from Friday night um, and then I'll come up for fairly early to bed although the sun's gonna set at 8 3 tonight it's already it's already quarter past seven so it feels like the evening is getting longer um, but anyway I'm rambling now so darlings I'm gonna end the vlog thank you so much for watching I will see you in the next one leave the word serum serum <laughs> in your comment if you got to the end and I'll see you in the next one. Good night.